In this video, we're gonna start working with the index.html file. I have this assets folder and I'm gonna copy all these files into my project, all the, the spa. Paste it right here. By the way, all these files are gonna be available in the course materials, so you can download and you can follow me in the course. We're gonna start working with this file. You can see this one is called 01 home.psd file. And we're gonna start working with this section on the top. You can see here on the left, we have this hotel, resort, and spa. The logo, we have this button. When you click here, it's gonna open the navigation here on the left. We have this slogan right here, and we have this big image at the bottom, but this big image as a background is gonna be a, an HTML5 video. And this color, you can see it's kind of like a blue or purple. It's gonna be added just by using CSS. So I'm gonna open again the, I'm gonna open Sublime Text. And here on the index that PHP file, HTML file, I'm gonna add section with the class. I'm gonna add promo video, so we can target this with CSS. Next, I'm gonna add a div with ID overlay. And this overlay is gonna be the, well, the gradient that we have here. Next, I'm gonna add the video for this. I'm gonna add video with the ID video so we can target this with CSS later on. And I'm gonna close the video right here. So this is HTML5 video. We have, we have to add the, the sources for the video. So I'm gonna add source and then we add SRC. And we're looking for this assets folder. I'm gonna add assets. And then we're looking for videos. And here we have video bg and that mp4. And we're gonna add type video mp4. So I'm gonna copy this because we have to add two more sources. One that is called webm, right here, webm. And the other one, webm also. And here we have this OGB, so I'm gonna add OGB, and I'm gonna paste it right here. So maybe you're wondering why we are adding three versions of the same video. Well, for example, Internet Explorer and Safari both require the video in MP4. For example, Firefox, Chrome, and Opera, they will handle the WebM, WebM and also the OGB. So we are, well, we're covering all the major browsers. And also the order is important because for example, the MP4, the iPad, if, if, if someone opens this project in, the, in an iPad, the iPad, if it doesn't find the MP4 file, it will fail loading another files. So the iPad, the, well, the MP4 is gonna be the first one and then the other ones, because that problem doesn't exist in Chrome and Firefox. If they can play an MP4, they will look for the WebM or the OGB, but the iPad, if it doesn't find an MP4, they won't look for the WebM or OGB. It will simply ignore this. So I'm gonna save and reload. And you can see we got this video showing, but I'm gonna add some, well, I'm gonna add to autoplay this. I'm gonna add autoplay. So I'm gonna add here on the video, I'm gonna add autoplay as a property. So I'm gonna save and reload. And you can see that the video is playing. So this is the video that we're gonna be, uh, that we're gonna be using as a background. But you can see when the video finishes, it doesn't repeat. So how do you make a video repeat? You only add the word loop. So let's play again. And you can see that the video is playing. And when the video finish, it will loop again. So this is the way that you add a video in your website. In the next video, we're gonna continue adding some content right here to finish this part.